Hi, my name is uh, Alexander Parsons. I'm a composer for uh, film and television. And uh, yeah, welcome to my welcome to my studio, my little home studio in in South London. Generally, when when I'm writing, I tend to experiment with a lot of things around the studio. So I've got. So very few specific bits of equipment that I can just play with. And the way I've set up my studio is they're all running individually through a patch bay, but they all run through into the Zen Tour, which is my audio interface. And um, so I'll take you, I'll take you around the studio and yeah, show you the kind of things that I use. So I'm quite into my, I'm quite into my synths. I've got some really old synths. So Jupiter 4 is probably my favorite synth it doesn't do very much but what it does is is so so special i've got prophet 6 here which is one of my new synths it's great if i want to kind of return to a sound i have my modular system here so i, I use a eurorack system which is quite flexible and um, i can use it to synthesize sounds but i can also use it to um, manipulate sounds as well which is really great i mean I've, I've been using the zen quite a lot to record and then send sounds out of the zen into the modular process them and then record them back into logic afterwards and what i tend to do um when when i'm kind of experimenting with little textural ideas is um is is try throwing some of those through the modular to see if i can sort of twist up even more so i'm going to use the reamp outs on the zen tour for this and um, so i'm going to come out of the zen and um, i've tucked my little cables away neatly here but we can go in here. Okay, all I'm going to do is I'm going to change the output of my violins, which are currently going out of the stereo output of Logic. I'm going to change that to my reamp outputs, which if I bring up my Synergy Core, we can see the reamp outputs I've set to outputs three and four of the computer. So that way my violins, so all of these violin lines, I'm actually going to mute the, the melody and just go with these three effects. So these. Get rid of that. They'll now be going to the modular. So I'm going to record these into a couple of the units here and see if I can twist it up a little bit more. Okay, so now we're hearing the violin effects, but they are coming out of logic through the modular and then back into logic. And so I can start playing around. Okay, I'm actually going to record some of this directly into the modular itself. Okay. So now we're just here in the modular synth. can play things in reverse. Okay, so this is just coming out of um, one of the modules here, um, which is, um, it's a bit like a tape machine, this. So it'll kind of record, I'll be able to record audio into it and then it will splice it up. It's by a company called uh, Make Noise. And so I've got it coming into this module, into Clouds, which is a second module. Add some reverb to it. Cool. Okay. And I can record what I've got back into Logic now. Quite a lot of the equipment that I've got here, I, a little while ago I composed a uh, score for a film called Rockfield, the studio on the farm. It was a studio that was set up in the 1970s by these brothers on a Welsh farm in the countryside. And I was talking with the director quite a lot about how we were going to get a soundtrack that would feel like, like it was kind of handmade. The studio was really handmade there. They were using pigs, kind of pig food bags in the walls to kind of help the acoustics and soundproofing. So I used lots of really old equipment just here in, 
in my little home studio. We did have to leave a couple of times to record some drums and a few other instruments, but everything that we recorded, we brought back. And the idea was that we were kind of cr trying to create sounds that felt like they were handmade, a little bit unusual, really quite unstable. So I used a mixture of old equipment that had lots of character. I've got a spring reverb here, a Japanese spring reverb from the 70s, and it has a really kind of warm and unusual tone. I have an old Watkins tape delay, Watkins copycat tape delay here, which is the WEM version. I then recorded all of the soundtrack through um, a bit of a ropey old Akai reel-to-reel -reel player um, and recorder. It doesn't really work as it's supposed to, but that's kind of kind of the charm of it. The great thing about the Zen Tour um, is that it has oh, just a tremendous amount of I.O. on there. So we've got two headphone um, sockets, which in the studio for me is perfect. Um, and one thing which is really fantastic for me is, is the dedicated reamp outs on the Zen Tour, as well as working with my analog gear. I will also work with, with software synthesizers and things. And quite often it's really good to be able to reamp those through the modular system or to take them out through the, the pedals and then back in to the Zen. So these dedicated reamp outs are, um, are just fantastic to have in such a small portable unit. So we've got four um, high Z inputs on the front, um, which when I'm working in the studio, I tend to keep my desk a little clearer and go in to the four ends around the back. But if I need to grab a guitar or grab a, a synth that isn't in my usual setup, I can go straight in the front here and it's ready to go. Okay, so we have four discrete ends. So for me, I have all of my analog gear just running through a patch bay and into channels five and six of the Zen Tour. I can change using their routing matrix. I can change anything around in, internally however I need to. Um, I have them running into five and six. Then I have an ISO one uh, focus right preamp um, going into channel seven. The final discrete in on the rear, I just have using the the uh, the internal preamps of the Zen Tour. Okay, so for me, the, the Zen Tour is, is perfect both for use in the studio, but also on tour. It's such a great little portable unit. It's really robust. And so one thing that I find when I'm working to a brief for a film or a TV production, I'll need to use lots of different ideas. I'll incorporate different palettes, different instrumental palettes, and it needs to be working straight away. So if I need to use my dulcet chord, my little miniature piano, then it needs to be set up and working straight away. If I'm using my outboard synths, I need to be able to access those and run them straight in without having to think too much. And the Zen is perfect for that. There's plenty of IO and to handle all of that. I'm really loving using the Zen Tour. It's, um, it's a great part of the studio, but also it's a great part of portable recording as well. So for me, I can see myself using it, you know, an awful lot in the future.